Salakaya Chaksu Undilitangya Nata Sri Shri Guru Vinaha Shri Chaitanya Manobi Stans Dakitangya Nabutale Svaya Mupa Kidam Mayam Dadati Sva Dadati Kam Ma Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasnaya Bhutale Shri Makti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tumamane Namaste, Saraswati Deve, Gauravari Pacchari, Ne Nirvasesa Sunyavari, Asyatya De Sakarine, Panchakalpa Tarubhisya, Kripa Sindhu Paevaja, Patitanam Bhavane Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namaha Namaha, Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vasudhi Gaur Bhakta Vrindam Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare yeah. Let's, yeah, okay, keep it there. So we'll read the verse again. This is from the Chaitanya Charitamrita. We began couple days ago discussing the Shikshastakam prayers given by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which we have been explaining from different angles of vision in a holistic way. Now we are starting to take it apart verse by verse, explaining some of the essential principles in each of the verses. Um, each of the verses are very powerful, and each of the verses are synonymous with a couplet of the holy name. In other words, the holy name of Krishna, the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. This is uh, actually patterned after the eight verses. The eight verses are actually patterned after the holy name. So each of the verses stands for a pair of the names. The first verse is Hare Krishna. The second verse is Hare Krishna. And going all the way down to the eight verses, you complete the, the Maha Mantra. So now we began yesterday discussing some of the benefits of getting of the... Uh, the holy name of the Lord, as it's described in the first verse of the Shikshastik and prayers. What does this first verse do? What is the actual benefit of this first verse? What it does, it, it gives one complete faith in the chanting of the holy name. This verse awakens one's strong faith in order for one to practice regularly chanting the holy names of the Lord, because it very clearly and very, what we say, uh, concisely also, and gives the gives what are the benefits of chanting. Sometimes people ask, well, what is the benefit of chanting? One, you know, one reporter asked Srila Prabhupada, what is the benefit of chanting Hare Krishna? Prabhupada said, the benefit of chanting Hare Krishna is chanting Hare Krishna. And that was his answer. He said, the more you chant, the more you chant. In other words, the, the chanting itself is the benefit. Well, of course, now we can unravel it or expand it, unpack it. And here, we can go through the verse here. Cheto Dharpana Marjanam. This means cleanses the mirror of the mind. Bhava Maha Divagni Nirvapanam stops the miseries of the blazing fire material existence. Shreya Kaiva Vichendri Kaiva Tananam. This is the waxing moon that spreads the white lotus of good fortune for all living entities. Vidya Vahu Jivanam. It is the life and soul of all education. Anandam Divardhanam. The chanting of the holy name of Krishna expands the blissful ocean of transcendental life. Pratipuram uh, Purnam Rita Swardhanam. It gives it, it, uh, it enables one to taste nectar at every step. And Sarvatna Snapadam is, it gives a cooling effect to everyone. 
uh, and we'll, call, we'll also go into each of these. Yesterday we explained Chaito Darpana Marginum, the mind is like a mirror reflects inside what's outside. Today I'll just give a brief uh, overview of what we covered yesterday for those of you who are not here, but we'll go on from where we left off yesterday. Uh, the mind is like a mirror, it reflects what's inside outside. The mind gets contaminated when the, the living entity touches the material energy in the form of a false ego. The false ego dictates to the living entity the ways to enjoy the material energy. And then that, that, that principle of enjoyment is mentioned in this particular verse as three aspects. And I'll read those three aspects. The three aspects are uh, material desires, the spirit of enjoyment, material enjoyment, and ungodly actions. Okay, so in other words, uh, material desires, uh, the desire to become happy by material activities and uh, sinful activities. Now, there's another category which is similar to these three, which is given by another Acharya. It says that these three material covenant coverings are sense gratification, fruit of activity, and false renunciation. Fruit of activity is a type of sense gratification, but sense gratification is a general category, which includes all activities between the mind, the senses, and the material objects. Fruit of activities means I'm always looking for some gain in whatever I do. That is fruit of activities. Um, material gain, that is. And false renunciation means that because I can't enjoy this material energy, let me uh, let me just uh, give it up. The gyanis, they, uh, they, they try to enjoy, they take to the process of of uh, jnana yoga, which helps them to remove themselves from the enjoying propensity, but they don't take up what we say real activity or spiritual activity, and therefore it's a type of false renunciation. Okay. Baba Mahadevagni Nirvakana, that's the different miseries of the material energy that are always pounding us in different ways. We spoke about that yesterday, the, the three uh, miseries of the body and mind, miseries of higher powers, miseries of other living entities. These are all uh, what we say reduced and gradually eliminated by one who takes up the chanting of the holy name, along with the process of the, the bhakti. Let me qualify something. The holy name is not different than the process, but at the same time, it is the process. Um, it is the process and it's different from the process. In other words, the process is to glorify the Lord and to serve the Lord in, all, in different ways. And the holy name is the, as we said, the word Sankirtan means the highest form of spiritual activity. The word kirtan comes from the word kirti. Kirti means to, I'll give you the actual definition here. Kirtan comes from kirti, which means fame. That by which one makes the virtues of others known. In other words, we glorify the Lord, making his virtues known. And the other part of that same definition is by which one become virtuous oneself by praising others. So one also becomes what we say virtuous by glorifying others in a virtuous way, in a, in a glorifying way. So that's the, that's the actual terminology of the word kirtan. It benefits the one who is glorifying and it benefits the one who is glorif being glorified both. San means together, San also means complete, San means the best, and that's in this category. There's no better way, and there's no more complete way, that's a better definition, than to glorify the Lord by chanting 
the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Okay, so this verse gives faith. And then the third, the third one is it spreads the white lotus of good fortune for all living entities. And I'll uh, explain that. One's life, real life begins. There is a lotus flower called the Kairava. A Kairava is a type of lotus flower that blooms, on, blooms under the moonlight. Every type of lotus flower in existence blooms under the sun, sunlight, except the Kairava. That's why this word Kairava is in the Shreya Kairava. It means that it's a lotus flower, but it's this particular type of lotus flower. You can see it in the definition here, Kairava. It's a white lotus. And the heart is also compared to a lotus flower, which is closed. So when the moonbeams of the cooling rays of the holy name shine within the heart of the devotee, the, uh, the lotus flower of our devotion starts to awaken and the flower becomes revealed. It also indicates our good fortune. <laughs> As it says here, the lotus, white lotus of a good fortune of all living entities. Vidya um, vidhu jivanam, this is interesting. Vidya means knowledge, vidhu means bride, and jivanam means life. Uh, the, the acharyas give the definition or explanation by saying that the wife or the bride becomes enlivened by the presence of the bridegroom just as transcendental knowledge becomes enlivened by the presence of the chanting of the holy name of the Lord. So transcendental knowledge is given life by the chanting of the holy name. And you see, when we do our Krishna conscious programs, we don't just do uh, uh, philosophy. The Mayavadis and many of the other spiritual groups They'll sit there and they'll talk for hours on philosophy. Nobody no knows what they're saying anyway. And they'll just talk and talk and talk. Most people are falling asleep or they can't understand it. But Prabhupada was at one program where there were many Mayavadis and Prabhupada was asked to speak at the end. See, hearing all the, the people speaking, Prabhupada was just sitting there. He was becoming very, uh, what we say, disturbed by their speeches, but finally he tolerated everything. And at the end, when it came to Prabhupada's time to speak, he just called all the devotees together. They grabbed the instruments and they had kirtan, the whole place exploded and everybody had a good, a good time. <laughs> so everybody had, got a taste of transcendental happiness through kirtan. So, you know, we just don't sit and talk philosophy all the while we want Kirtan, kirtan is life. Kirtan is our is our connection directly in a very powerful way with Krishna. So transcendental knowledge becomes awakened in the presence of the holy name. Anandam Bhuti Vardhanam. This is interesting. The living entity is called Jiva. Jiva also means tiny. Jiva also means infinitesimal, where God is finite. I mean, he's infinitesimal and we are finite. We are finite, but there's one thing about our nature, which is unlimited, and that's the happiness we can experience. We can experience unlimited spiritual happiness because in connection with the unlimited, we become unlimited. This is interesting. The happiness that the living entity can experience is limited. In the material world, what goes on is happiness more or less is a relief from suffering. If you're hungry and then you eat, you feel happy. So what is your eating? Your eating is a relief from the suffering of hunger. And that is called happiness. Uh, people sometimes they describe well, a person becomes lusty and they fulfill their lusty desires and they think to become happy. So the, the pushings of the lusty desires is a form of suffering or misery. And the relief of that is the activity to relieve it, uh, to bring it, to destroy it. And that is called happiness. And if you carefully note, you'll see that every type of material happiness is more or less the counteracting of the suffering that we experience in this world. Mostly everything. There is some material happiness, which is, um, 
which comes by way of uh, association with others. But that also is a fulfillment of the need to interact with others. So, but on the spiritual platform, happiness is not dependent or not connected with anything but itself because happiness or transcendental happiness is anandam buddhi vardhanam. It's unlimited, it's deep. It is the internal energy of Krishna himself. It is personified by Srimati Radharani. It is our nature to experience happiness, but here it describes that, that happiness has no limit. Pratipadam Purnam Ritaswaranam. This is interesting. Uh, uh, at every Pratipadam, at every step, Purnam Rita, full of nectar. This is in Aswaranam, gives a taste that Krishna consciousness is never old, mundane, worn out, tiresome. It's always fresh. It's Yavanavayodhanam. It's Krishna himself. And one can perform the same activities day in, day out, and still feel inspired and enlivened and happy. Why? Because it's not part of the material energy, which brings things to a conclusion after a while. The material energy will show you that whatever you're doing materially after some time becomes old, hackney, worn out. You look for something different, something new. But spiritual life, you can do the same thing. So Krishna consciousness, chanting of the holy names of the Lord, awakens this principle of happiness at every part of our daily activities. It also has another meaning. It means that one is gradually coming to the stage of perfection at every step. At every step that means that one is moving forward towards one's internal mood. This is described by the Acharyas also. That one has a, each, every, every living entity has an eternal loving relationship with Krishna in a particular rasa, whether it's servitorship, uh, friendship, parental affection, or conjugal love. And these rasas are fixed. And uh, that is our rasa. Like our spiritual awareness, it's also hidden. And one can start to, what we say, reveal one's spiritual nature through the process of chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. In other words, one starts to understand more and more about their eternal relationship with Krishna in a specific way through the chanting of the holy names of the Lord. The last benediction that's mentioned here is uh, Sarvatma Snapanam, and you'll see the word Atma Snapanam, bathing of the self. In other words, Snapanam re re refers to bath. In other words, inside, outside, one becomes cleansed of all material contamination. There's nothing desirable left. In other words, nothing undesirable left. In other words, the holy name can purify one completely, and not only not only oneself, but everything in relationship to oneself. In other words, whatever possessions you may also, uh, uh, you know, have, they also become spiritualized as you chant the holy names of the Lord and use these items in the service of the Lord. That they also take on the spiritual nature. So this Atmanam, Atmasnapanam means not only bath, it means complete bath. That bath that is complete, there's nothing more desirable, nothing more that one has to do in order to. So this is the glories of the holy name. So after hearing and getting a little understanding of this first verse, we develop a taste for chanting the holy names of the Lord. And then the verse, Vijayate Shri Krishna Sankirtanam, 
it's more like a declaration. It's an announcement. It's a, it's a, uh, you know, it's like uh, a symphonic expression. You know, all here it is, the holy name. Dun da 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 Hare Krishna. So it takes you into the mood of complete uh, happiness, the chanting of the holy names of the Lord. Now this is uh, this first verse um, assures us of complete faith in the chanting of the holy names of the Lord. So many benedictions. Each one of these benedictions have smaller benedictions within it. Uh, the seven main benedictions are given as the fundamental principles, but there are many more benedictions that the holy name gives. Why? Because the holy name is Krishna. It's none different than Krishna. Uh, it is uh, Nama Chintamani's Krishna's Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha Purnya Sudya Nitya Mukta Abhinna Tvam Nami Nami No Abhinna, Abhinna means different. Abhinna, it is Krishna himself. It is non different than Krishna. Krishna has come in the form of the holy name of the Lord, and he is personally full in all his qualities. Nothing is left out in Krishna's name. Krishna's name has all the qualities. And that will be explained in the next verse as we describe verse number two. We'll get into that also. Are you well? Uh, you know, finish the offering here. And so, this is what we can understand from this first verse. I'd like to read something to all of you. So you get a little bit of understanding what is the benefits of these, this, this, uh, these eight verses known as Shikshastakam. There are many benefits. And here is a few. It's, this will deepen our appreciation and attachment for chanting the holy name of the Lord, especially when it comes to Japa. Two, it will help us overcome inattention in Japa. I'm just going to list them. Three, it enthuses us to cultivate pro proper Vaishnav qualities that are necessary for developing deep attraction for chanting. And these qualities are mentioned in verse number three. Four, to understand the symptoms of pure devotees and the process of pure devotional service. Five, we are encouraged to daily recite these prayers as part of our morning program. So we can prepare our consciousness before chanting our rounds. Six, give a glimpse of the understanding of pure devotional service and how that whole process is contained within these eight prayers. Also, these prayers inspire independent research and study into these prayers. In other words, we can make a study of these prayers. And you can always find more and more information, uh, knowledge, uh, transcendental um, what we say, what's the word, transcendental nuggets of gems of Krishna conscious knowledge found within these eight prayers. Uh, number eight is to deepen our appreciation and devotion to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who has given us. And number nine is it's a map to help us determine where we are Amidst the nine stages of bhakti, what are the what are the different stages? What are the meanings of the different symptoms that are characterized by each stage, and how to go from the stage one is on to the next stage? Now, these are some of the benefits that we can derive from this particular seminar. Okay, so we completed the first verse. And uh, so we'll stop here and see if we can uh, 
have a little discussion related on this first verse. Yesterday I received a question about Pratipadam Purnamrita Swarnanam. Is that question still here? Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. Uh, thank you so much for the wonderful class, Guru Maharaj. Um, very nicely explained the verse, Guru Maharaj. Um, I request devotees if they have any questions or comments or realizations, they can go ahead. Thank you. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, this is Tusha. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to you. Uh, thank you for the class. Um, I had a question around, you mentioned about rasa is fixed with Krishna. And if that's the case, then we're serving Krishna through Srila Prabhupada and yourself in service. But then how do we know that our service is aligned with our rasa? Is that... They may not be. You... Rasa is revealed on the higher stages of bhakti. Mm. That comes on, on the stages of Raganuga Bhakti, not on not on Vaidhi Bhakti or rules and regulations. And that'll come by way of the grace of Srila Prabhupada. He reveals into your heart the actual position. Um, as devotees practice devotional service and they're making advancement towards the goal, they get a, they get an indication a little bit about what is their nature and what is their spiritual rasa? They get an indication. Based on that indication, they follow the process of Raghunuga Sadhana, which means that they take shelter of, a, of an eternal resident of Sri Vrindavan Dham and worship that person, glorify that person, pray to that person, not imitating that person, but just. Uh, this is called Anuskaran. Nusharan means to follow in their footsteps. Try to pattern the mood that they are teaching in their, not their activities, but their mood. So there's a whole process that reveals your eternal relationship with Krishna. It's an 11 stage process. It's called Siddha Pranali. Uh, it's mentioned, but as Prabhupada says, when the candidate is ready, the spiritual master will come and reveal that. But you want to, one has to follow the process of Raganuga Sadhana. And that's described in Chaitanya Charitamrita. So uh, your service now may be different than your your actual eternal service, but that still you make an advancement anyway. Okay. And most likely it is different. Hmm. Yeah. This um, this also explains when. Uh, disciple is under the shelter of the spiritual master, the spiritual master may change the service dramatically. And obviously they know much more than the actual disciple. That's one of the businesses of the spiritual master is to observe the disciple to see what are their nature and what are their tendencies and try to use those that nature tendencies in the service of the Lord. And that helps the living entity to grow more naturally in devotional service. Hmm. This is what Prabhupada wanted to establish, which he didn't completely establish, which is what we call it Vanashram Dharma, but it's Daibi Vanashram. Hmm. Spiritual Vanashram. That's a whole subject. Mm. Yeah, thank you very much for the clarity.
Well, the, yeah, the uh, disciple can ask the spiritual master, how best can I serve? Mm. And then the spiritual master can also take time and try to evaluate and then reveal to the disciple that this is, this is the best way you can serve. But it's, yeah. it doesn't become so clear in the early stages. <laughs> yes, I think um, I'm, I'm certainly struggling with that as well. So it's right good now, to know. We just, we just do whatever services are given to us. We may volunteer for other services. Mm. The service is service. It's not one service is better than another service, but when you're in your element, then your natural proclivities to develop that service start to become revealed more and more. Mm. Yeah. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Well, Guru Maharaj, we have uh, two questions on chat. Um, one is from Roberto Prabhu. Uh, he's asking, can the spiritual rasa change as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave to give Prema Bhakti in the mood of the gopis? Uh, yeah, but that's even some of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's uh, um, associates were in different modes. For instance, Murari Gupta. Murari Gupta was an incarnation of Hanuman, and his worshipful lord was Sri Ramchandra. Lord Chaitanya played around with Murari just to test him, but Murari showed that you know his attachment to Ram is fixed. <laughs> So, yeah, it's not that we all become gopis. Don't get that idea. <laughs> Poor Keller boys. Some of us have the Vaikuta mood, and some of us have the Vrindavan mood. But that will all be revealed as you make progress. Gopal Kumar, as mentioned in Brihad Bhagavatam Rita, he made it to Vaikuntha. And he was there with Lord Narayan, but he couldn't feel completely satisfied because he could understand within himself that there was more to his own nature that wasn't, wasn't fulfilled even while he was in the spiritual world in Vaikuntha. And the Lord actually, what the Lord did, the Lord actually welcomed him and said, you know, we're so happy you're here. And please, you know, stay with us. But the Lord knew that Gopo wasn't thinking like that. He was thinking, he, he was satisfied, but at the same time, he had this feeling that this is not my mood. Therefore, he went back down to the material world, to Rindavan, got a mantra from his spiritual master, and then eventually reached Rindavan because he's a cowherd boy in Vrindavan. Don't worry about your mood now. Just try to serve nicely. That'll be revealed. Whatever service you're doing, just do it nicely. Your mood will be, that'll be revealed to you in due course of time. It's on, a, it's on more on the, the stages of Ashakti and Bhava, not on the beginning stages of Bhakti. One should aspire for that. One should think, oh, I want to practice Krishna consciousness in such a way that I can understand who I am in the spiritual world. You can make that vow and then you follow the process.
Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj Ji, Dandavad Pranam. Hare Mom Manisha. Dandavad Pranam to all devotees. Guru Maharaj Ji, if I may beg your mercy, I would like to share something from like a, maybe you might say materialistic point of view, <laughs> but it's my life experience. May I continue? Uh, is it about, about the verses we're doing? Is yes. Yes, pertaining to the question about our uh, spiritual relationship with the Lord. Okay. So, uh, are you not going to you're going to reveal something about your own personal life? Oh, it's very general, like a very general. Because you, if you have, it's not good to reveal these things in public. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I can see. I can see a general statement that. Um, in like um, in life, right? Like I, I know I spoke to, uh, to this before in one of the other classes about um, like, um, you know, how love uh, in this world, right? Is a perverted reflection of uh, what love really is in the spiritual world. So um, sometimes, you know, when we meet new people our relationship with them is not immediately revealed, right? Like uh, we don't know, like, uh, are we in a friendship with the, you know, the person? Are we looking at them as a parent? So in the same way, you know, like we're meeting Krishna, we're trying to meet Krishna, right? Through the teachings and guidance of the spiritual master. So I know it's very hard, you know, these days to have patience because we live in such a fast society, like uh, use the microwave, just heat it up fast, fast speed internet, you know, fast results, fast everything. So it's hard to keep patience, you know, to, to wait and, you know, uh, have that spiritual relationship, like our love for Krishna, like revealed with time. It's very hard to wait, but we must have patience and remember that, you know, when you meet somebody in your real life, you don't know, what kind of relationship you're going to have with them. So in the same way, just have patience that through the guidance and love from the spiritual master, your relationship with Krishna will eventually be revealed, but we must have a lot of patience. So that's just... Well, you have what is called cultivating of the relationship. Even in an, using your example of an ordinary person, you develop a relationship gradually and as the relationship builds then it becomes clear what is the what we say the essential ingredient that makes that relationship a relationship so same with krishna you get a little understanding of your relationship with krishna then you move to the next stage and then the next stage krishna is unlimited and our relationship with him is also <clears throat> very deep and very much Gupta. Gupta means hidden. So we can explore that relationship. It's not that we go from zero to 100%. We have to go through the stages. And going through the stages is actually the process of bhakti, but at the same time, it's very satisfying. Because in that in that development, you're learning more about Krishna. And as you're learning more about Krishna, you learn your, your love for Krishna is increasing. Yes, Guru Maharaj. I always try to remember the example uh, Sri Prabhupada gives about molten gold, that you know, gold in its purest form is such a valuable thing. But until we don't put it in the flaming hot fire, and, you know, we have to hit it hard. We have to mold it in, into a certain way, which the spiritual master does for us. The, the actual beauty of the gold cannot be revealed. So I think about this process, like, uh, you know, moving towards initiation, after initiation, you know, movement towards spiritual realization and hopefully back to Godhead as like, it's a tough process, but the result will be beautiful. Please help Guru Maharaj. Yeah, the process doesn't have to be tough. That's up to our material desires are tough. The process is joyful. Ananda Bodhi Vardhana. Uh, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, 
susukam kartam avyayam is joyfully performed. It's up to us to have the right mindset. When we do, then it becomes joyful. Okay, so. Hare Krishna Maharaj. My humble obeisances. All okay. glories to Shri Prabhupada, all glories to you. Hare Krishna. Okay, so my question is regarding the cleansing process. <laughs> so, <Good. laughs> so we're saying we're cleansing, this process helps us cleanse the mind. So um, what about impressions that we're unaware of? Because often, um, not intentionally, we it's just an impression that comes in your mind and you haven't even placed emphasis on that impression. But somehow it comes when we're chanting um, and it's, it's, it's sometimes you're not even aware that that was remembered by you. What is that about, Maharaj? Mm -hmm. It's just the nature of the mind to bring up past experiences, impressions, desires. The mind is always moving. The mind contains what is called the unconscious section of the mind, which is the, which is the larger portion of the mind's existence, is the unconscious. And anything can come up from our previous birth at any time, could be triggered by the external environment, could be triggered by the particular feelings that we are experiencing at the time, or it could just come up just like today. What was it? Something triggered today. Um, yeah, I was, uh, okay, I'll give you an example. Today I was sitting, I was chanting and uh, I saw myself in the Delhi airport uh, going through the security. All of a sudden, my mind flashed on that. I'm going through the Delhi security airport. And it was just quick, maybe a few seconds. But then I thought, hmm, okay, why did that come up? But then I realized it's the end of January, or at least coming to the end of January. And usually at that time of year, I'm traveling through the Delhi airport coming from Delhi to, to London. So it just happens to happen at the same time that I usually go from Delhi to London. This impression just came up in my mind, this thought. So the mind will do that. <laughs> I have one, one, there's one devotee who was injured I won't mention his name. It was a very severe injury. And he recovered from the injury. But at the same day, every year, for many years, the pain of the injury would, would come back on that day. The day he received the injury would come back on that day. So you see, this is the nature of the mind. It's very impressionable. Very impressionable. And it harbors so many thoughts, desires, tendencies. We even say idiosyncrasies. Either these are certain personality traits, traits that are unique to us. Um, these are all there in the mind. And comes out in dreams, comes out in circumstances, comes out because of moods, comes out without any, without any apparent cause. That's the nature of the mind. Mm -hmm. So the idea is just to let him go. It's not that we dwell on them or think about them. It's just, they're just passing things. Oh, sometimes, we should... sometimes when we eat food cooked by people who are not pure, or not following principles, and then when our mind gets disturbed by something sinful, mm -hmm. and that happens if you uh, if you take food from impure people, your mind will project something impure either in dreams or even in a waking state. It can come out. The mind is very impressionable. Mm -hmm. 
contains all the impressions, everything that you've ever said, done, or experienced is in your mind, either in the conscious awareness or the unconscious. Mostly it's in the unconscious awareness. And triggers, we call them triggers, something that triggers the thought to come to the surface. It's like you're using your computer. If you want something in the computer to come to the surface, you push a few buttons and then that, that information is up. So the mind works automatically. And the environment and our mood is the triggering process. So don't be disturbed by it. It's it just annoying. It's just annoying when you're trying to chant, and um, then yeah. you get into this circle of is it inattentive? But then you're, well, where did that come from? I didn't even know I had that in my mind. So yeah, it happens every day. <laughs> just let it go. Okay. If you think about it, it grows. Mm. It does. <laughs> Hare Krishna Barish, thank you. Life, a lot of parts of life is just, we're going through things, we don't want to stop to figure them out. We just pass through it. Life means going through different experiences, different emotions, different, uh, different uh, uh, stages. And we're just moving from one thing to another. Ultimately, we're trying to come to Krishna. <laughs> Now, these impressions I mean they're so strong um, like you mentioned the more you think about it the more the impressions um, tend to stay uh, yeah good, that's good bad that, or neutral that's the idea don't think about it If you're chanting, just go back to hearing the holy name. Okay, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Uh, Guru Maharaj, uh, there is a question um, by Janava Mataji. Um, dear Guru Maharaj, I wonder how it is if we underestimate material difficulties, bodily difficulties due to ecstatic feelings. Please repeat that. Um, I wonder how it is if we underestimate material difficulties, bodily difficulties due to ecstatic feelings. Yeah. Yeah, that happens. When you, if you're feeling some happiness, then uh, you, your tendency is not to be focused on anything else. The stronger the emotion, the greater your detachment from every other experience. It's emotion. Bhakti is about developing loving emotions. Mm -hmm. Stronger those emotions come, the less you can experience. You know, sometimes you don't even experience the presence of your body at all. It's like you're separate from your body due to the emotions experience. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So um, anybody else have any questions or comments? Yes, Lavanya, okay. if I can. Yes, Mataji, go ahead. Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to you, Guru Maharaj. Um, my question is about our eternal relationship with Krishna, which is slowly being revealed by our by the chanting process. Uh, any relationship uh, has two people. That means us and Krishna or us and someone else. In our relationship with Krishna, 
does krishna reciprocate more than we can even understand or fathom or believe or experience or we may go for periods of time without experiencing reciprocation in our relationship with krishna <laughs> You're asking if Krishna is continuously giving you his uh, reciprocation. I'm sure that Krishna is reciprocating in more ways than I can even understand. Yeah, because you can't do anything without Krishna. You can't even wake up in the morning. You can't chew your food. You can't even you can't you can't even breathe without him. <laughs> so. <laughs> When you understand everything works under his direction, he's taking care of his devotee a hundred percent. The materialists are going on their karma. Devotees are going on their relationship with Krishna. Yeah, he's with you. Hundred percent means a hundred percent. If you stop and reflect and be a little bit introspective, you can see that we are so incapable of doing what we're doing. But somehow or other, it goes on by Krishna's arrangement. Even Krishna will see that, I'll give you an example. Krishna will see that this person has uh, their enthusiasm has fallen off. So they're losing their enthusiasm. So they're going through their services. So Krishna will think, let me do something to awaken their enthusiasm. So Krishna will arrange for something to happen. And then by that happening, your enthusiasm will come back. Because <laughs> he knows how to do that. Yeah. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. <laughs> He's always with you. you. All you have to do is remain sincere and follow the process. Your sincerity shows Krishna that, all right, this person wants me. Therefore, I'm going to help them. But he doesn't give himself so easily. He gives himself through taking care of us in so many different ways. That he does. And giving himself means we have to come to a, a complete stage of pure love. But once in a while, he just gives you a little bit of that. He gives you a little bit of himself just to show you. Krishna is a person and he's very intelligent. And he's most intelligent. He knows how to do things. <laughs> and he loves his devotees. So get back to Mayapur and you'll understand everything. <laughs> yes, Guru Maharaj, can wait. <laughs> Sick and tired of the Western world. Just waiting to go. Well, you're not doing much. In Mayapur, you can do so much service. Yes, Guru Maharaj. They're, waiting, is... yeah, they're waiting for you there. Here, you. Here, the only thing you do is, you know, ask me questions. That's about it. Sorry for pestering you, Guru Bharaj. My mind is just like a monkey. Well, you know, monkeys are sometimes, uh, we give them some bananas once in a while, some nuts. And... 
make them feel happy. <laughs> Thank you for feeding this monkey, Guru Maharaj. Your mercy is what I'm made of. Thank you so much. You're a nice monkey. Okay, so we can stop here. <laughs> Any more questions, comments? Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to you Maharaj. Uh, Maharaj, you mentioned that uh, we can map these uh, verses with nine stages of bhakti and also with Mahamantra as Bhakti Vinod Thakur mentioned. But, could you please explain how this can be mapped with Mahamantra? Like first verse you said can be mapped with Hare Krishna. So, yeah, you want me to read something? Oh, I can't really paraphrase that, but I can read it. Thank you, Guru. Let me see if I can. Yeah, just give me a, a minute here. And I'll write back. Okay. Are you still there? Yes, Guru Maharaj. Okay, this is Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Hare Krishna, the first pair of names, Hare Krishna signifies subduing ignorance and performing Harinam with faith. Chanting the holy name with faith removes all ignorance and forgetfulness of Krishna. This is expressed in the first verse. Hare Krishna, the second pair of names, means that Krishna's names have all power and potencies found in the personal form. By faithfully chanting the holy name in association of pure devotees, one develops attachment for bhajan. Hare Krishna Krishna, the third pair of names, indicates association with pure devotees and being fixed in faith throughout the day and night. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just send this, this uh, text to uh, to you and if you want to make it available to others and it goes through the whole mantra and Hare Krishna uh, patterns itself all the way down to Hare Hare with the last thank you Guru Maharaj Jai thank you this is Bhakti Vinod Thakur so I'll send it to you thank you it's Hare called Krishna. the me me meaning of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra <laughs> And it's from, uh, let me see. It's from, I think it's from Madhurya Kandambini. You'll, you'll like this. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll definitely like this. Okay, so we'll do our one round of japa today. Yes, Guru Maharaj. I think there are no more questions. Okay. So everybody gear up and... Uh, Guru Maharaj, uh, Susanna Mataji is asking, um, could you please send that um, document or uh, text to the conference email? Say that again. Uh, could you please send that um, text which we are talking about um, to conference email? Uh, no, I'll send it to I'll send it to one of to one of you, okay. and you can circulate it amongst those who ask for it. Okay, Guru Maharaj. Sure. I won't put it on the conference. <laughs> Thank you, Maharaj. Yeah, so I'll send it to um, you. And I'll send it to uh, uh, Vivek. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Okay, and then anybody who wants it, they just they write to you and you send it. That's all. Okay, Guru Maharaj. I'd rather do it that way than just circulate it randomly. You know? Sure, Guru Maharaj. Okay. Mm -hmm.
Okay, everybody sit straight, back straight. Get comfortable, but keep your back straight. And um, pronounce clearly the names. We say three things, posture, pronunciation, and prayer. Prayer means the devotional mood. Okay. Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sivasiri Gaur Bhaktivinoda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Rama, Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. <coughs> Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Rama Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna. Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari <clears throat> Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari Rama 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 Hari Krishna Hari Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna 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 Hari Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari Hari Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari 
Hare Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari Rama Rama Hari 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Okay, I'm going to have to stop here. There's some pressing things that are coming up. So continue with your round, and then I'll see you all tomorrow. And we'll go into the second verse of Sri Shikshastakam, which is really a verse that helps us understand why we're not making progress. <laughs> okay, so. Thank you so and much. How, and how to make progress also. So I'll say goodbye. Thank you very much for coming. And I'll send you this uh, text right away. <laughs> Glories to the assembled devotees, Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.